Trip Zero here, and I'm uh, got this 30 watt panel hooked up directly, well, almost directly to this uh, bank of uh, super capacitors, 300 farads each in the series. So when you would put them together in series like that, they tend to drop below 350. So it's less than 350. But um, um, as you can see, I'm measuring the voltage here. If you can see that, yes, you should be able to, uh, 6.2 volts, and it's climbing quite, I mean, pretty quick. Um, this is not a very efficient way of charging, but for the simplicity, like I'm connected directly to um, these, I am going through, I've got a, a watt meter right here that won't turn on yet because the voltage is, I guess, too low. Uh, well, actually, no, it is on. It's just in the, yeah, it just barely turned on, awesome. So, let's see if I can get, yeah, so, uh, I get nine watts through there. Not too shabby. And it's increasing. So, we'll leave it here, we'll get, uh, we'll, we'll try and get this up to about 16 volts, and then we'll turn it off, because, uh, super cap, caps don't like to be overcharged. Maybe I'll stop a little lower, maybe 14 volts, but anyway, that is that. Um, yeah, pretty decent experiment on whether or not you can charge supercapacitors directly from a solar panel. Alright, um, this will, I'll, I'll be this experiment is uh, going to be used, hopefully, in a project or two. We're going to see if uh, um, probably use this in a, a, a few outside projects coming up here real soon. So stay tuned.